Hello everyone, it's me again. And today I have a new video. Can you guess what it is? Well, probably you read the comment section name thingy. Well, it is the pros and cons of the insulin pump. So I'm going to start with the cons. Everyone likes the cons. I thought of starting with the cons because when the doctor told me I should be on the insulin pump, I was a little hesitant and said no. And then he said, just do your work, go look it up, look what it does, how it works, and then you decide. And I decided, let's look for the cons of it. Let's say I was more surprised than it. The first thing that sometimes bugs me is you've only got one type of insulin and that's the short acting insulin. And that might be a bummer when you run out for a really long time because then you don't have any background running insulin. Another problem is if you don't like things being attached to you all day like gadgets and stuff, you're not a person that walks around with a phone all day, which I think is very small group of you. Well, the pump has the tubing and we all know the joy of the tubing. It can get stuck, hooked on anything and everything and if it can get hooked to it, it will, believe me. Because I have gotten it hooked on my doorknob like everyone else that has a pump and it was bound to happen sooner or later. I was like, no, it can't happen. And my doorknob greets me like, hello. That wasn't fun because it was a new set. I basically like put it in like three minutes before that time. And I had to put in a new one. See what I mean about dangly? Cover it up. And another con is bubbles. No, it's not like the little fishy from a certain movie that goes bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. No. Uh -uh. These are bad kind of bubbles. Because if you haven't noticed a bubble in your cartridge and that bubble goes into the tubing while you're bolusing and it goes all the way, you might miss a couple of units of insulin and you will go high. And we all know the joys of highs. It's not fun at all. Believe me. I've been high this whole week and it's not fun. Joy. Another con that I've noticed but it can be avoided and this is the batteries that I get with my pump. I get them every four months. Those batteries don't last long. They last like a week and a half at most. You can buy different kind of batteries but just make sure that it's the kind of battery that's compatible with your pump. Mine basically use alkaline. You can use others, but just make sure that it's the same brand, the same kind of battery. I'm not a battery expert, but just make sure which battery you have to use and get those. I found that those last me a little bit longer, like two, three weeks. And now for the pros. These I found really enlightening when I was looking for the reasons why not to get a pump mostly. Firstly, it's really easy to use. When you were on the pens, you had to inject every few hours, so that's like five, six times a day. But with the pump, you only have to do it twice a week, and that is so great. And you get a little plunger thingy that we know mine got stolen but it's finally been replaced so that is really good. You can put it in, shoot it in and it's in and there you go. You don't have to press it in, inject, no needles stuck in you. You put it in, take it out and you're done. Another pro would be you can fine tune your dosages. Your basal rate you can fine tune just for you. So if you need more insulin, say between two and three in the morning, it'll give you that extra few units then. If you need less in the afternoon while you're working out, you can actually set your pump to 
temporary basal. So you can say, give me 30% less insulin, and it will. And that's the greatest thing that I've figured out how to use because it really helps and it's the best thing ever since sliced bread. And remember folks, one slice of bread is 15 carbs. This one I wasn't sure about putting it in the cons or the pros, but you can actually set the pump for when you're high, then it'll notify you for whatever time you say. Mine is two hours. So two hours after I've had a high, it'll remind me to retest and see if I'm higher or lower and if the correction worked. And if the correction didn't work, you can go back to your settings and change them. And this leads me to the next pro. You can set the pump to work for you. And I probably said that before. Oops. And another pro, and this was in my previous video, the pros and cons about the pen. The pump is inconspicuous. It's like a little spy. Yeah, you can sit anywhere and make it as if you're sending a text, but in the meantime, it's your meter and you can just so you give me so much insulin, Mr. Meter, and it will, and no one can be wiser, because they won't know. I've sat in a meeting once, and I kind of went high, and I was like, doot, 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 and it gave me my correction without anyone knowing. Before that, I always had to get up, say, excuse me, and go out and put, give me my shot, and... <gasps> Blah, blah, blah. Now you can just sit there and smile at everyone and wave and bloop. And it gives you insulin right there on the dot. And another great thing is the pump works out how much insulin to give you. You go to your doctor, they work it out, they teach you how to do the settings, and you do your settings, and I have to stop doing this with my hands, don't I? Well, you can just say, I'm going to have this much carbs. So it's not the problem of the pens where you have to, okay, this is 15, but this is 9 grams, and then, uh, okay, I have to work out 15 is one unit, and this. No. You say, you count every bit of carbs, you say, I'm going to have 25 carbs, and you put it in the meter, and voila, it works out, and it gives you your insulin. As easy as that. And that probably leads me to the next one. The pump is easy to use, really easy. I was worried like, uh, now I've got to learn all these things like basal rate, temporary basal rate, the insulin sensitivity for the pump and this and that and no. You will learn that really easily because everything is straightforward, it tells you what it is and you get training for it and it is really easy easy to use. Never get put down, just think the pump is really, it's high techy, that you're not going to understand it and you're going to mess it up. No, it is really easy to use, believe me. And another one is, and I think this is the last one I can remember of, but the insulin pump gives you insulin like every three minutes, so that is great. It's not like the pen that you give you a shot, it works and then it's done. The back, background insulin was great, it works, but sometimes your dosage can be wrong and you're not going to have enough insulin for that period. So the insulin pump is great, it gives you your insulin every few minutes, and that's great. And I just remembered another one. The different kind of waves you can use for the insulin pump. Say you're eating more greasy food than what you normally do, you can actually set the pump to give you a percentage of the insulin now and then the rest of the insulin over across time so if you want five units of your ten units now it'll give it to you now and then it'll give the other five units say over two hours if you decide over two hours or three hours depending on what you ate and that is great normally I would say eat pizza and then my sugar would drop me after a couple of minutes so what I did, I would give him my insulin now, half of it, and then in, say another few hours, I would give another, another dose. And that was a schlep. But now you can just set it, say, Doop, there we go. And it's a multi-wave. 
and it'll give you some insulin now and insulin over a period of time. Well, everyone, that is my video. I know I probably skipped a lot of cons, a lot of pros, but that is the opportunity for you guys to put some comments below. I want some comments, please. It's a bit empty at the bottom. Please. So you can follow me on Facebook. I've got a Facebook. No, not a face to book, but a Facebook. That's on the internet. You can follow me on there. The link is in the description. And I've got an Instagram. I'm not the world's greatest photographer in the world. But I do post some photos once in a while and there might be one or two of my dog. Okay, one or two dozen, maybe. And then I've got this YouTube channel. You can subscribe if you want to. Yes, yes somewhere it's a little red button that you can click and it'll say, yeah, you subscribed. And doing this, there's also a like button. If you like the video, click it. If you didn't like the video, click it. Well then from me, myself and I, goodbye everyone.